All right. Uh, this is Amon in Texas, I think. Yep, Texas, who wants to talk to us about slavery in the Bible. Go ahead, Amon. Uh, you're on with Jay, Jay, Mike, and myself, Jim. Okay. Hey, can you hear me now? Yep. Yeah, we sure can. I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm a bond servant. I greet you in the uh, name the of uh, his noodliness. Okay. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, so I was watching uh, Matt Dillahunty, if you heard of him. No, I've never heard of Matt Dillahunty, ever. What about you, Jay Mike? Have you ever heard of him? No, never. <laughs> Who is that? We are joking, by the way. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. We so both done shows with him, so yes, yeah. we know him. And here, here's kind of the thing: I don't really care what Matt says. I want to know what you think. So, and then you, you're talking to J. Mike and Jim. So, leave Matt completely out of it because it doesn't really matter. Okay. So, uh, so continuously, I've, uh, I've seen a lot of episodes on atheist uh, experience. And some of the argument was made about uh, what the Bible said or what the New Testament said specifically uh, about slavery. So I want to ask you a question. How many times have you read, like, the New Testament? Uh, I have read the Bible twice, cover to cover, old and new. Yeah, and I oh, actually okay. enjoy doing, like, textual criticism on the New Testament, so um, yeah, and... especially the Gospels. So I'm actually just, like, genuinely interested in that. Yeah, and I do I do consume quite a bit of content on on that topic as well. So uh, it's not how many times you've read the, the the Bible; it's how much you look at uh, the context in which it was written and the people who uh, and the, the times at which it was written. Because we don't know who actually wrote the, uh, especially the New Testament. Um, there there is no evidence that it's Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John. Uh, Others just labels that got attached sometime in what the third, fourth century. And they didn't really come to prominence until the second century, and we don't see much of anything um, in the first century. So, anyway, going on. What, okay. Get, get to your so, point. So, uh, do you know the difference between the Old and the, and the New Testament, according to the Scripture? Why don't you just tell us instead of asking yeah, questions? This isn't 20 questions. Just lay, lay out the view that you think, and then we'll respond to it. <laughs> okay. So, uh, there are some things that have changed according to, to the New Testament. So I usually watch Madelahanti debating uh, different Christians and- Okay, the New no, no, look, let me ask, let me, let me ask you, do you do, I'm on, do any of us on here, me or Jim, do we look anything like Matt? We don't, right? Just go on, I don't, don't bring up anyone else that you think, it doesn't really matter. Like when anybody brings up other people about what they think, it's irrelevant. We wanna know what you think. I don't care if it's the president. Okay, so- just tell us what okay, you think. So, uh, okay, can I read this verse yes. very quickly? Okay, so I want to read from uh, 1 Corinthians 7. It, takes, it, it talks about slavery specifically. So let each man in that condition in which he was called. Where you were called while a slave, do not worry about it. But if you are able also to become free, rather do that. For he who was called in the Lord while a slave is the Lord's freed man. Likewise, he was called while free is Christ's slave. So I want to I wanna lay down, first of all, that all Christians, we consider ourselves uh, as slaves. Uh, so my point is when the Bible said that uh, slaves be obedient to your earthly masters as you are reverent to the Lord, doesn't it? Isn't it like a moral standard? Uh, is it very immoral to say that, according uh, according to you? Because I see yes. it, and I see it as very a moral thing. All, or all slavery, thing all slavery say. is immoral. All slavery is immoral. Yes. Yeah, I also hold the uh, pretty trivial position that owning people against their will is a bad thing. Yes. And also, you uh, Paul does Paul encounter uh, encounters a slave and does not free the slave, but sends that slave back to his master. I think the New Testament is pretty clear that slavery is a okay with God, the God of the Bible, and that makes him. Immoral. I'm not debating that at all. What, what, what my so what's the what's the point is, you're getting to? If you could kind of streamline it, because I think me and Jim are trying to digest. Oh, what my point my is. point is Christianity. Christianity is teaching that if someone did bad thing to you, you probably respond good. 
it doesn't mean the bad deed is good according to God, but it just means that's how you show, show Christ according to the New Testament. For example, uh, if a Christian is a slave or a servant to a certain... Okay, I, I, look, I'm just going to ask you directly. Do you think it's wrong to own somebody uh, as property against their will? Do you think that is the case? I don't know. I don't have an opinion on that. Really? Wow. Yeah, so you're, you're, on you're undecided on whether or not owning a person against their will is bad from your view? Like you're, you're yeah. having problems figuring that one out? No, no, no. I got, I got to be honest with you. It's like, I think it's evil when I think about it. But okay. so you're more moral than your God. Raised. So why are you that's more that's moral that's than true. your God? I, I, I wouldn't say I'm more moral because... If, sla- uh, if you think slavery you know, is evil and your God supports evil, how are you not more moral than your God? Okay, so when uh, when a certain person do evil to you, you respond good according to the New Testament. It doesn't mean, for example, that's when not, someone that's not you, what I, That's not the question I asked. You're dodging the question. Would really like you to answer the question. If God supports evil and you think... So if God supported slavery and you think slavery is evil, right? Okay. Why are you more moral than your God? I have no answer to it. All right. You should probably think about that. Because there are a number okay. of things your God supports directly that are morally questionable. We talk about slavery is the biggest one. The the blatant misogyny that is in the New Testament is another one. And here you are following somebody who is less moral than you. What does that make you? Oh, uh, I want I want to I want to tell you about my background a little bit. No, 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 no. You got to answer the question. Okay. Got to answer the question. No, no, no weaseling out. <laughs> what if the, the person you're following is less moral than you? What does that make you? What do you mean by the person that I'm following? Are you talking about the, the God you follow yeah. is immoral? Okay. What does that make you? Yeah, I, I don't think that God is immoral, though. That's my but point. God supports slavery. I mean, my... God supports slavery. You think slavery is evil, therefore your God supports something you think is evil and is less moral than you. What does that make you? Uh, I don't know. Maybe a little bit better. Makes you evil. Do you want to be evil or do you want to be a good person? If you want to be a good person, you uh, can't follow your God because your God supports slavery. You've already admitted that. Yeah, I'm on. Let me te- let me tease out. Let me tease out like something that I'm kind of concerned about on your view. Suppose there's like two worlds, right? World A, someone throws a baby off a building, right? Something horrible, right? God exists in that world, right? Do you think something wrong occurred in that world? Uh, yeah. If someone Great. Is yeah, out right. Of now, I'm, now, same situation, world B, take God out of it, right? We're just talking about the uh the actual intrinsic actions what ends up happening to the families the suffering of the child all of those things do you think it's immoral without god right all the things are still there just no god do you think that action was immoral doesn't doesn't change the reality no i'm, I'm asking you do you think it's immoral in yeah, a godless yeah, world if someone wrong. does the same that's action something. yeah yeah i'm sorry you're wrong that's yeah it, Great. So I, the reason I want to ask that was because you're, you're, it's like the last caller, right? You have a different standard. You're at least in your head. You think that the things that God thinks ought to be done, you disagree. You think those things shouldn't be done. And then instead you lay down obedience and you go, well, I'm going to just like blindly follow this thing because I don't want to think, I don't actually care about, which is really strange to me. I don't know why the suffering or the victims or the relationships that are destroyed somehow gets knocked down instead of no reason at all just to just go, well, I have to obey. I don't really have a reason, and I actually disagree with it, but I'm just going to go with it anyway. Do you not see like that to be a problem? Seems like straightforward an issue, right? You worship something like like Jim said, which is immoral, and then you don't see the entailment that that's going to make you immoral because you agree that those, th- that those things are immoral. Okay, uh, here's my take on that. Can I respond a little bit? Of course, yeah, go ahead. So, 
so what I think is there are things that I might think, uh, I might read in the scripture, and I might think it's like wrong and stuff, but I think God is like uh, better knowing than me. So that's why I follow him, because everything in Christianity, everything doesn't make sense. So you think that there's justified reasons to put to, so your position, let's just lay it out clear. Your position is this. You think that there are morally significant reasons to allow somebody to be held against their will for at whatever time period. Let's take, let's take women, right? Cause they don't go free, right? Exodus 21, seven. Uh, so if that's the case, uh, right? If you make this t- type of statement, I mean, I, I don't, it's it's just it's mind boggling to me that you're gonna want to make some type of statement where you think you agree it's a wrong thing. Yeah. Right, but but it, okay. It, it it really sounds like what you're saying is is that the ends justify the means. Uh, that's not what I'm saying. Okay. Can can, can I explain that a little bit? So uh, you are you're saying that there's an I, there is some way where that can be justified. I don't see how that works. Uh, but you're saying there is a, whatever reason it is. That justifies it, right? That's that's not what I'm saying. Okay, so what I'm saying is, even though you're free or you live in the first twenty first century, first century, first century, Christian refer refer themselves as born servants of Jesus Christ. So I consider myself a bond servant of Jesus Christ, which means that that's, I don't have that's, will. that's just to equivocate on what we mean by a slave, right? We're not talking about people that, that just oh, simply dedicate their, their life to God. We're talking about people that are held against their will. Clearly not the same definition, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah. By the way, it's the, the same definition, just so you know. No, it's not. Look, no. okay. Do you think that these are equivalent? Me, me owning Jim against his will. Do you think that's equivalent? Does me being a slave to Yahweh? Do you think that's an equivalent statement? Yes, because no, we are owned was, was, by God according to the New Testament. We but are you're only by only life. by their we choice. Only by oh, their okay. choice, correct? I, I just know what you're saying. So yeah. you're saying that if it's by choice, there's nothing wrong with it. Yes, absolutely. If it's your choice, oh. then it's okay. But to do it against your will. Or to raise somebody in an environment okay. where they they think it is their their destiny, then to to be a okay. slave that that is the same thing. Yes, it is that is evil and okay. wrong. Your God supports that, and you're following a God who supports evil. That makes you evil. You support a God for whom the ends justify the means. That also makes you evil. Okay, so I want to talk to you about uh, you know my a little bit of my background. You know, I was not raised in America and stuff. So yeah, it doesn't matter about your background. Happened, yeah, I don't care about no, your background. No, no, I really we're, don't. I we're gonna, we have a lot of callers. Yeah, we got a lot of callers, so we, we're oh, going to yeah. move on if you can't act, if we're not going to address um, the, okay, the so criticisms you guys, that, we, okay, that we've raised. Are you guys, okay, so, and I want to talk to you about, is this like uh, where you address, you know, secular sexuality and stuff? What is your position on that? I just want to know. On what? Uh, you also address when I call this says uh, you address sex, sexual or sexuality. Oh no! That's oh, so, uh, it's a it's a show. On, yeah, it's a show. Uh, you can call. You should you call in or listen or listen to it first and know what you're calling in for if you don't if you're not familiar with the show. But right. Yeah. No. 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 I, okay. I I just I just want to know because someone said like the purity culture was really a bad thing and it he it has like harmed and stuff. Yes. I just want yeah, to know as in, one, in one of the shows, but but you, well, you have to you have to know that where uh, these things are like coming from. So, uh, well, Amon, if we're going to move on, to determine to, that your god is evil, so it's coming from an evil god. That's where it's coming from. Yeah, and if we're going to move you. on to okay. that topic, we're just gonna we're we're gonna have to we got we got other callers, so I feel like we've kind of exhausted okay. that. If we're if we're diving into other topics, it doesn't sound like we have very much to. Right. in the tank here so i appreciate i appreciate the call mom but i appreciate the call mom but we're gonna go ahead and move on to other callers appreciate it yep. but 